Does your partner get stressed when you have a low blood sugar? What do I do if someone is freaked out about my sights? I don't know. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess Roscoe P has something to say too. So next question we had got was, what do I do if someone is freaked out about my sights? And I have to say in my dating history, I don't think I've ever had someone who's actually freaked out about my sights before. Usually, like I, like I mentioned the other question, they're usually inquisitive. They might ask, what is that? They might ask a little bit about it. You might get the, you know, typical, oh, my grandpa had diabetes. And it's like, thank you, but that's not really the same thing. But you know, let it slide. No one's been freaked out. As far as I know, nobody has been freaked out, at least that outwardly told me or made a face or anything like that. But if someone is freaked out, you know, you, you have the opportunity to kind of explain it to them, educate them. And if they don't like it, then they're welcome to go away. And someone, you know, and I'm confident in you, you can find someone that won't be freaked out. Just yeah, I've never heard of somebody being freaked out about just a sight. So I don't know. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess Roscoe P has something to say too. Who let the dogs out? Who so, next question is, does your partner get stress when you have a low blood sugar? I feel like that's a loaded question because I think I used to be a lot more concerned earlier, but that was also because I didn't know like how often Dexcoms had to get changed, how they could like be off with their readings because I had Dexcom share and I would see that like his Dexcom was reading that he was like 65, but he wasn't really 65. Like I don't really get stressed about it, I feel like is the best way to say it. Like, I'll peep the Dexcom share up when I know he's sleeping because Ben starts his day later than me because I have to be usually at the hospital really early. Um, so if I notice something's like pretty off when, you know, I know he's sleeping, I'll reach out. But I wouldn't say I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, do something, do something, do something. Do something. Like, that's not happening. Which I'm very grateful about. Ah, that's sweet. But I feel like when it comes to, you know, when it comes to low blood sugars, it really just becomes an experience thing because I joke with people, the only way that you understand diabetes truly and fully is if you live with it. And the next closest thing is if you live with someone who has it. And so Amelia and I have lived together for a little while now. So as we got further and further into dating, she started to understand more of, okay, what do the lows look like? What are the severe lows? Is Dexcom going on? and is it actually accurate? Because every now and then, you know, you'll get those lows like Amelia was saying where it'll say that I'm low, but I'm actually not. But for the most part, you're pretty chill with it. Totally cool. I've had people I've, you know, gone on dates with or I've dated in the past where they would freak out a lot about low blood sugars. But again, I feel like the more experience you have, usually it becomes less of a big deal. Nailed it. So the next one we've got, <laughs> this is a fun one. 